Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, man. This is Renee with Family Reef Aquatics. Uh, listen, guys, today we have an unboxing video for my dad. He purchased two fish from saltwaterfish.com. This is our second unboxing from this website, so hope all goes well. I'm going to give you guys an update on his aquarium, do the unboxing for you guys, and also I need to update you guys on my other aquarium upstairs that we no longer have. So without further ado, man, Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so here is the tank. We currently have it off the lights right now, but as you guys can see, we gave my dad our blue spotted puffer and he's pretty much got nothing but damsels in here. A couple clowns, mm, nothing too crazy, but his tank is doing really, really well. And uh, we got a couple new fish that we're gonna be adding in here today. Um, but yeah, so let's get the unboxing done, get these fish acclimated. And while they're acclimating, I'll kind of break down to you guys what happened with our other tank upstairs. All right, guys, so sorry for the bad camera angle, but this is what's gonna have to work for us right now. But we're gonna crack this box open. We're gonna see if these fish live. We ordered them Saturday and they came today, which is Tuesday. Let's crack it open and see what we got. So usually with saltwaterfish.com, in most other places, they give you like an acclimation guide. Uh, we already know what to do there. And then we have, of course, our receipt, which my dad got a damsel, three stripe damsel and a dotty back bicolor. So it should be the purple and yellow dotty back. Hopefully we got the right fish here. I'll crack this box open here. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at as well. Let me show you. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. Usually this is the lid right here, and it has your other stuff in it, your acclimation guide and everything, but comes with a heat pack, which is still very, very hot. I feel it, son, is it hot? Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's hot, huh? All right, let's see here. This should be the, there's the three stripe damsel. And it's supposed to be, it looks like it lost its color for sure, but yeah, he's a little guy, little dude, little guy. He's a little three stripe damsel right here. I think it was like an inch and a half to two inches. Um, and then let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, here's the purple and yellow dotty back right here. Purple and yellow dotty back right here. It's called the bicolor dotty back, so beautiful fish right here all right guys so we're gonna basically just throw these guys in the tank and we're gonna temperature acclimate but first i'm gonna check the temperature of this water and the temperature of my dad's water and see where they're at all right guys so the temperature of the fish bags were 82 let's see what we got down here 76 is looking like so it's a pretty big gap in temperature so we're gonna let these fish adjust to this temperature. Uh, let me see here. Leave them right there. All right, check back in with you guys in 30 minutes. All right guys, so I'm gonna break it down to you guys and let you guys know what happened with our tank upstairs. Long story short, man, our lionfish was very small to begin with and I knew that the current in the tank was a little bit too much for him. Um, I would see him and catch him latching onto the rocks and try to like hide under the current, you know? Um, one day I came home, he was stuck in our wave maker and he was pretty much in pieces. So pieces were missing, he was dead already when I got home. That was a mistake on my end. Uh, obviously with saltwater tanks, you know, you need current, saltwater fish are used to current, but I feel like I could have maybe gotten a smaller jet or just maybe not have used it at all and just use the current that came from the filter, the over the head filter. I don't know, it was a mistake. Um, it happens, bro, I'm not perfect. You know, people lose fish. Uh, sometimes it's caused by other fish. Sometimes it's just a, it is what it is type situation or it's a mistake on my end. Uh, but you know, you learn from it. But when that happened, I was like, you know what? Like, I really don't want multiple saltwater tanks right now just because I'm still trying to to master the one that I have downstairs. So I felt like I rushed it and I should have never set up another tank. I should have waited and just focused on my tank downstairs, which is doing phenomenal. Um, but you know, things happen, bro. You know, and I learned from it and that's all it is, is a learning. 
uh, experience and I decided to give my blue spotted puffer to my dad to add to his aquarium. And I was strictly just gonna focus on my tank, you know, my reef tank. And I couldn't put the puffer in there because they do uh, mess with corals and stuff. And I, don't, I definitely don't want that. I put a lot of time and effort into my corals. Um, but yeah, so pretty much that's what happened, guys. I got rid of the tank, sold it on offer up, sold really quick. And right now I'm just focusing on my 40 gallon breeder reef tank, which is doing good. Now, my dad's tank, I don't have a picture, but my dad's tank was really bad. He was in a really bad bacteria bloom about three weeks ago. I mean, the water was green. They call it pea soup or pea water, some, something like that. I'll pop a picture on the screen of what it looked like, and it was horrible. And at that point, I was like, Dad, like, I don't know what to do. Like, you know, this is crazy. Like, I don't understand how your tank got like this. Um, we went and ordered a UV over the hang, or no, it's a UV submersible uh, filter, UV UV light filter. Um, and I'll post a picture of the product up here. And I'm telling you within two or three days, his tank was crystal clear. Like when the fish are in there, like, and they're done acclimating, I'm gonna turn the lights on and like show you guys for a quick second. His tank's crystal clear, crystal, crystal clear. Um, so I recently noticed that I saw like little clouds moving in the water and those are bacteria blooms from what I've, what I've looked up and stuff and what I've come to find out. So I put his UV light in my tank and within 48 hours, this, my tank's crystal clear, like the best it's ever been. So I'm going to take you guys home with me, show you guys my tank, give you guys an update on everything, but I want to get these fish in here. So we're going to let these fish finish acclimating. We're going to put them in there and uh show you guys the un the unbagging or whatever show you guys them in there and then we'll head home man so let's do it all right here goes the first fish it's a little dude there he is check him out Mudra. nice chilling all right guys Sorry for the little background noise. We got my daughter right here, but listen, guys, this is the clearest I've ever seen my tank since I've had it, bro. It's just absolutely freaking clear. I love it. Mama, give me a second here. Uh, Juju, can you give her a chippy? Talk to her for a little bit. But yeah, guys, let me show you guys this tank, man. It's coming along. The bubble tip did move, guys. So he moved over here to the bottom. And I know why he moved from this rock hole right here. It's because I put the UV filter in there, which caused a lot of um, flow in the tank at night. And I know that he got stressed out, so he decided to move, but he doesn't look bad right there. Um, I was a little scared because the pulsing Xenia, which is right there, he was on top of it and I thought he was gonna sting it and kill it, but it's doing better than ever, guys. Look at that thing. Look at how clear this tank is, guys. And look at the pulsing Xenia. I feel like it's just, he likes it better right there. But we got our Kenya trees. I've never seen them out like that before. Um, our elegance coral, our other corals that we have, frags. The yellow one's down right now, but I think a hermit crab was messing with it. But uh, well, yeah, man, everything's doing good. Check it out. Let you guys get a look. We have designer clown, Tuasolaris clowns, we have car, uh, two, oh, I forgot what these are called. I want to say they're cardinals, but I forgot what they're called, which are down here. We have our yellow damsel down there, and we have our purple firefish goby um, in here as well. We got our big old hermit crab down there. All right, mama, I hear you. Yeah, our damsel's down there moving the bottom, making a big old mess. But yeah, man, check it out. Look how clear it is, guys. I mean, to be able to see, over there, it's crazy. I've never seen it this clear before. But yeah, man, just a little update on the tank, guys. It's doing great. Oh, there's the goby back there. I see him. But yeah, guys, it's doing great. Three months in, guys, and our corals are looking amazing. The only one that's not doing good is the Duncan. It hasn't been out. I've been trying to move it to different places, and it's just not doing good. Uh, I might take them back to my local reef store and see if I can switch him out for another type of coral, just so he can go back to being happy, get him in a better, better aquarium. Um, like I said, the yellow ones right here, uh, they're coming back out right there, but I think a hermit crab was on top of it. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Yep, every time they touch the corals, the corals get all freaked out, drives me nuts. But yeah, man, everything's doing good. 
All the corals are looking really nice. They're out and blooming. Bubble tip looks stunning. Love it. And man, I'm telling you, these Kenya trees and this pulsing zinnia right here, man, they look really, really good. But yeah, man, just a little update, guys. Show you guys the tank. It's coming along really well. Like we got some new corals right here to the side. Eight cans. I've never seen our toadstool like so out like that. So I know he's definitely happy where he's at now. But yeah, everything's doing good. Literally love seeing the corals everywhere and all the colors. Looks amazing. We've come a long ways. First three months into the hobby, man. Yes, sir. But I'll catch y'all later, man.